Hello, mummies. <laughs> I've been doing this so many times. Hi, uh, family and friends. Jumelang, uh, but it's been so long since I sat down in right here in Amos' room just to shoot and sit down and talk. I look like I'm wearing something kinky, ne? No, it's not kinky at all. It's a jersey. <laughs> it's a full. It's a full jersey. It looks so spicy. Oh, spicy mama all right let's start would you rather watch a 24-hour non-stop peppa pig marathon or sing the spongebob squarepants theme song 1000 times in a row obviously i'd rather watch peppa pig all day <laughs> i'm not gonna sing spongebob and easy <laughs> would you rather allow your child to eat whatever they want for every meal until they're 18 or let them get a giant regrettable tattoo when they're 12. No, let them eat whatever they want until they're 18. Yeah. I feel like that's a, a no brainer. Would your kids, would you rather let your kids take your diary to show and tell or your collection of Fifty Shades books to church. Uh, my diary of... No, let them take my collection of Fifty Shades to church. Uh, I mean, the church knows the truth anyway. Ah, uh, Like, we're all people. Would you rather never drink wine again or never drink coffee again? I'd rather never drink... I'm not a fan of both, actually. So I'll go for coffee. <laughs> yeah, I can I can live without both, but I can cut out coffee. I can cut out wine as well, but let's go with coffee for this one. A nice glass of wine once in a while is really good. Really, I enjoy it. But I I never really say, Oh, that cup of coffee. Mm -mm, I'm not a coffee person. Would you rather breastfeed your kid until they're 16 or have them completely stop aging in mind and body at two years old? Two years, mm-mm, our -mm, Two years, gang at that. Two, I'll breastfeed until they're 16. Obviously not in public. <laughs> I don't know. That question is not valid. Let's, I re cancel it. Would you rather eat five jars of baby food spaghetti or give your toddler a shot of espresso? No, I'll eat five jars of baby food spaghetti. It's fine. I'll do that. Uh -uh. Okay, would you rather take an eight-hour flight with a colicky infant or dine at the fanciest restaurant in the world with your super picky toddler? Yo. Yo, I mean, I want to experience being at this restaurant peacefully and a colleague child for an eight hour flight. That's a lot. Um, sure. Mm. This is where you sort of decide, like. Who comes first? Like the kid or me? Um mm, I'll take a colicky child for eight hour flight. Next, would you rather um your child be the reason his or her team always loses or the reason his team always wins because he cheats? Ugh. no let them lose it's fine if she's the reason that they lose she'll have lots of lessons to learn from that or he yeah she'll have lots of lessons to learn from that and she'll actually be a better person would you rather have your child blow his or her nose into your shirt or your bare hands yeah bare hands i'm okay with my child blowing their nose in my hands and then i'll just wash my hands not on my clothes i i get that would you rather have your toddler cut their own hair or have him or her cut your hair? Obviously, let them cut their own hair. 
Would you rather punish your child for punching a teacher by excluding them from an upcoming Disney trip or take away their cell phone for five years? Um, I'd rather exclude them from an upcoming Disney trip. I've actually done this before. I think Jose was in hospital. Something was happening. And uh, my cousin um, had a birthday party for her son they were going what's that shooting thing pew, pew, shooting not a shooting range paintball paintball shooting and i'm always supposed to go and join them and then uh she did something that morning when we were supposed to be leaving and taking her there something that i was not on with it it was not no i think she was eight eight years old if i'm not mistaken and yeah that morning i cancelled the trip for her to go to the party because it was like uh like she had to learn the lesson so sadly i've done this before would you rather hire a super strict nanny or a family chef who has no taste buds Ooh, super strict nanny ish that can be uncomfortable for the kids I like, you know, a nanny should be nice and fun to have around. And the children shouldn't be afraid of the nanny. And the children should should have fun, have fun with the nanny. And for me, uh, I'll go with the chef that doesn't have taste buds. Yeah. No, my kids can't suffer like that. Would you rather have a baby who poops 10 times a day or a teenager who refuses to bath? <laughs> I... Um, a baby who poops 10 times. Mm, no, wait. Let me think about this carefully. Um, what would you do? Uh, what would you do? What would I do? What would you do? Teenager who doesn't bath, who refuses to bath, baby who poops 10 times a day. Does my teenager refuse to bath like forever or for a few days? I think I'll go with a, with a baby who poops 10 times a day. Yeah. Baby will grow and they will stop pooping 10 times a day. Teenager, teenagers last very long. And if my teenager, yeah, yeah, I'm going with that one. If my teenager is refusing to bath, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Would you rather decide your unborn child's gender or their hair color? Um, none of these uh, matter to me. Gender or hair color. Um, I'd rather choose their um, gender. Mm, yeah, I'll go for gender because I've got two boys, and they're starting to be a tag team, Kosi Limuachi, and they are crazy, insane madness. They climb everywhere. They fight. They they are tag teaming right now. So I think I'd choose gender. I'd obviously go for a girl because if it's three boys, ah! Would you rather your child pierce their own eyebrow or pierce yours? Um, um, do I want an eyebrow piercing? Yeah, I'd rather they pierce mine, not theirs, no. Would you rather be able to know when your child is lying or hear all of their thoughts. I'll go for her thoughts. Why do I keep saying her? Or him. Or his thoughts. I'll go for their. You know, I'll just say. I'll continue to say her for the sake of this video. I'll, I'd rather hear her thoughts. Definitely. I would love to hear Amu's thoughts. She's quite vocal. But sometimes I'd rather hear her thoughts. I can pick up when she's lying. It's not that difficult but i'd really rather know what she's thinking would you rather feed your family cat food or dog food for dinner no man this question is off you're offline would you rather <gasps> would you rather publicly announce which child is your favorite or let one of your kids slap you in the face for 5,000 rands. 
No, I'd rather let them slap me in my face. I would not publicly announce which of my children is my favorite. So, also, do I even have a favorite child? I do. You know, and it's not like I love all my kids the same, but I have a favorite one. It's like, for now, also, the thing is, it has changed. It changes over time. You probably think you know who the favorite child is, but it's not who you think it is. I have a favorite child. And I'm so, I'm not, like, I'm not proud to say this, actually. Thank you for watching the video. My kids are not here. I, I feel so, I feel so good, but I miss them already, to be quite honest. It's so quiet and actually lonely without them around. But nonetheless, I've got a lot of things to do, so let me get to doing everything. I love you guys, and yeah. Bye.